Hello enthusiasts, wanted to give you an update here about the Catbox C2 before deciding to purchase or not. So I tested out the unit and could not get it working with PSVR. The Catbox C original works with PSVR. You look up DualShock, connect the controller, and you end up selecting a profile and it starts working in the game. With the Catwalk C2, the same process is followed, but the sensors in the shoes do not sync with the games. They do not connect. So I contacted CatVR and asked them about it because this is the original message I got from them back before the Kickstarter purchase that I made. So they said the original Pi system will work with the C2. You will only need to update the device firmware. Fast forward and since it's not working, I emailed them. I said if there's some kind of update that I'm missing, couldn't find anything on the website. They told me that we regret to tell you that currently the Pi system does not support the C2 because the firmware inside does not support the C2 product. So I showed them the original response I got from CAPR before the Kickstarter was over. I told them that's the reason why I purchased it. And at this moment, the adaptation work is not yet complete. It will work in the future. Wait for news and rest assured that we will inform you when the adaptation work is finished. So as it stands right now, the Cat Walk C2 does not work with the PlayStation VR 1. If you are comfortable buying and waiting for it to work in the future when they update the Cat Nexus, hopefully go ahead. But currently, it's a humongous paperweight. It's not even a paperweight because you can't even hold paper with it. So I'm not sure everyone was aware of this before anyone decided to make the purchase, but I will let everyone know once they get it working with the PSVR 1 and also with the PSVR 2. The plan is to have the Cat Nexus be the standalone unit that will work with the headsets that are not PC compatible. And JBar has a really great video on the device as a early look, so go check out his video if you want to look at more of the features and what it supports. Still early, I'm thinking hopefully next year they'll have this working properly for PSVR 2 and PSVR 1. Cat VR has been pretty fast with their updates, so I'm just waiting to hear back from them and I'm excited to test it out in the future, but it's kind of disappointing right now that I was not given correct information before making the purchase. And if you want to stay up to date on all Cat VR news for PSVR and PSVR 2, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, give a thumbs up, and start a discussion as well in the comments.